Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Happy Homebrew Wednesday. As of officially, it's Wednesday evening. I just got home from work. Um, I know this is this review has been a long time coming. I've been I've been drinking on these beers, so it's not like this is my first. So this is the Pumpkin Ale 2021. Let's see how we did. I already know, but now it's your turn. All right, sorry, mate. Come around here. Give it a pour. Nice night, full moon. We got it's about 55 degrees. Oh yeah, look at that. I don't know if I'm gonna get it all in. Uh, I will just call it there. All right. It's got that nice red red hue to it. You guys can see that through there. Nice creamy head. Sorry about the lighting. You know, I'm going to kill that one once I'm done the camera because, that you know, this is, doesn't give me enough light. But, you know, to record, but I can smell the beer from here. It's very effervescent. Very, very, you smell that. The cinnamon, the nutmeg, you know, everything, you know, my, my, my pumpkin pie spice, you smell that. You, you smell, smell it on the head. Look at that beer, that's beautiful. Nice orange hue to it. Reddish orange. Cheers. Mm. Wow. <laughs> I mean, even though I've my first beer of the day, so it's hit me with all that flavor. You know, obviously I've been drinking on this. Uh, me and the wife have so I mean and it's this this year I mean compared to last year's um, pumpkin ale hundred times better I don't know if it was temperature wise the yeast I used last year or just something was off last year but this this is spot-on awesome you can taste all the flavors you taste that pumpkin in there. You taste that uh, the spices. Mm. Yeah, mouthfeel. Uh, not heavy at all. It's a sweet beer, but it also has a bitterness there from the hops. So it, it has a good balance. It's not overly sweet. And it's not overly bitter. It's just it's just right. And definitely, hopefully, next year when I brew it, it comes out just like this one did. This this is really good. Uh, still working on what I'm going to brew next. I may brew this weekend. I may not. But uh, depending on what's going on and stuff like that. I've been dog sitting this week. So, yeah, my brother-in-law. He's uh, went away for uh, you know him and his girlfriend to Disney. So uh, yeah, dog sitting. <sighs> yeah, <laughs> not too much fun. I'm a cat person. So um, other than that, I think more updates. Uh, hike coming up. Obviously, I I was supposed to go hiking this week. My son is back at school, so I'm not doing the virtual thing, so I was going to get the hiking, and then I forgot that I got a dog sit, so, yeah, I wasn't about to leave this big monster Cujo of a dog by himself, you know? Um, what else? But yeah, the hiking, I'm going to start, I'm going to do a big hike next week, me and my buddy, me and my mate, we're going to go uh, on a nice long hike, so I'm going to shoot some footage of that. So that'll be recorded next Friday. If 
either way, I'm hiking. But if I do go with my buddy, then it's going to be a long hike. Um, I forget how long it really is. I'll have to just time it with my, my trail map and uh, on my phone and uh, see how, how long we do. Mm. This is really good beer. Um, not too much else out there. I mean, I could talk about work and what's going on there, but nah, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> so uh, hopefully the lighting isn't too bad with, with me here. It's probably shining right on my face. I can't see really a thing with that thing glowing in my eye here. I mean, I wish I could have just did it with this, but I don't think the lighting would have let you see how nice this beer came out. But other than that, full moon, nice weather. Um, not too much else going on. Sorry, I you know this is unscripted. You know, most of the time it is unscripted. But uh, yeah, just uh. I'm doing my thing. Smoking. What am I smoking tonight? I'll be smoking um, a little bit of Peterson. I cracked open another Peterson. Uh, I just I finished the the Peter Stoker Bees Nougat. I still have Lane Lane Limited's uh, Cherry Blend. I still got some of that left. And I also picked up a tin of uh, Tree Mixture. Uh, Robert Lewis's tree mixture, and of course, you know, every with everything being hard to get nowadays, uh, smoking pipes put that at uh, two tins uh, per per buyer, which is good, you know, because there's you know a lot of you guys out there, a lot of you guys out there, little gluttons, you know, uh, Captain here, he only buys what he smokes, you know, what I'm saying, I mean, everybody has it, has a, you know likes to collect, right? So, a lot of you guys out there, I know you collect tobaccos. I mean, you guys, I've seen some of your sellers, and you guys got a treasure chests full of pipe tobacco that you're never going to use, probably smoke in your lifetime. You know, like, oh, they, you, you know, when the latest tobacco comes out, you guys go out and buy 25 tins <laughs> or whatever. You know, I like my Peter, Peter, Peter uh, Peterson Sherlock Holmes. Do I buy 20 tins at a time? No. Should I buy more than one at a time? Yes, because I do, that is one, of, that's my favorite. That's, you know, what my favorite blend, I, you know, it's, it hits my sweet spot, right? So, but I still don't do it. I could be dead tomorrow. So, you know, because then, then why leave it up to the wife to, uh, or a family member, uh, to have to resell that to people on the YTPC or, you know, eBay or whatever, you know, because, I don't even know if you could, honest, honestly, legally, you know, it'd have to be a backdoor type type op or operation. That's what I'd be afraid of. You know, I'd be turning over my grave if she just chucked everything out in the trash, right? But at any any rate, uh, yeah, I so like for instance, I just opened that tin of uh, Peterson's, so then now I bought a tin, right, to replace that. So I kind of like keep one on the shelf, on the back burner. And I also picked up, because it was a sale of Pipes, uh, pipes and Cigars on uh, Peterson Blends. They were like eight eight fifty or something instead of, you know, $10 or whatever they're going for now. Um, so the Robert Lewis is one. I only bought one ten. I'm going to keep that for a special occasion since it's, you know, I bet you if I went on the website, it's probably already sold out. You know, I haven't been able to get Bill Bailey's Balkan Blend. Or um, Bill Bailey's birthday blend. You know, I like to. I like you know, I like to have that on my birthday, since I am Bill Bailey. But uh, that's still out of stock, so I haven't been able to. Normally, when that comes in, I try to pick up a tin of that from for you know my birthday. But it looks like I might not not be able to. Who knows? Mm. I also bought. So basically, with the Peterson today, I bought Sherlock Holmes to replace the one that I just opened, and um, we had fi finished. Um, I just finished as well Peterson's uh, Vulcan. 
So now I replaced that with either I bought, oh man, I forget what I bought. I believe I wanted to try Dublin, so I'm hoping I didn't click on Balkan by accident because I just had that one. Uh, I wanted to do the Dublin again. Old Dublin. So I'm hoping I got Old Dublin. I think I did though. But been eight hours since I placed the order and yeah, been at work all night, so something just hit me that like maybe I did hit the wrong button, but I don't know. No, I think I did I think I did get old Dublin. So they'll be coming in a few days, um or or a week, depending on how fast the shipping is. Normally they tell me it'll be a week and then it comes by Saturday, so you know, today's Wednesday, so I should probably get it by Saturday. Hmm. Anything else on the tobacco front? Cigar-wise, uh, I picked up some Romeos. So I've been smoking uh, Romeo Juliet's. Just regular 1875 bully type size. And I have some Monte Cristos left. Monte Cristo with the silver the band, uh, platinum. Uh, they haven't been going on sale, so I haven't been picking anything really up. That I, you know, I mean, I just bought the... The Robert Lewis, and you know, I just saw that sale on Peterson today. I was like, ah, you know, you're like, ah, I just spent twenty dollars, you know, with the other one. But the thing is, I'm not gonna smoke the other one <laughs> for a while yet. I wanna hold on to it like gold, you know. But yeah, I know this this video is getting way way out of hand, way out of long. But you know, hey, it, it's due for an update because I have not been on. Obviously, I've had some personal issues, as you know. My father-in-law passed away, so I haven't really been feeling up up to this. So I know that's why this has been overdue. But uh, you know, we're hanging in there. My wife's okay. My brother-in-law's okay. Obviously, he's at Disney. You know, he's he's you know. Pick, trying to pick up the pieces. Everybody's trying to pick up the pieces. You know what I'm saying? It's just a hard time. And I don't know about you guys, but you know, as you know, it's October, and it, the month is, uh, you know, when the, you know, if you believe in that thing, sort of thing, the the veils are, um, thinnest this time of month. And you know, losing someone, you always think that maybe you can reach out to them and then have them you know, show you a sign or stuff like that, and I, I, um, my, I lost my mother back in 2008, and, uh, I said for S's and G's, I, you know, I talked to my mom's picture, you know, I keep it on the mantle, and I said to her, I said, you know, show me a sign, you know, that, you know, if you're around, you know, whatever, and, uh, sure enough, an hour later, it was weird, because, you know, my father in just passed too, so at first I thought it was him, this is, you know, you gotta believe in this sort of thing, you know, but, you know, and I do, because things do happen, um, and, the front, my wife had shut the front door, now, I could have chalked it up to maybe a breeze or whatever, but the wind was blowing in when I checked the door after, uh, she had shut the door, like, halfway, it had slammed shut, like, someone had shut it, and then, why I had my pipe and I was loading my pipe and I heard the door slam I'm like what so I walked over to the door to see what you know how that happened because I wanted to get some breeze in the house and then when I opened the door and was examining what's going on um I could feel I opened the door and the breeze was blowing in and then uh I had uh then I heard I had a pile of jackets so my father-in-law and my brother-in-law had dropped off his jackets and uh, I had them hanging on the chair in my sitting room at the desk. Well, sure enough, no sooner I'm checking out this door situation, and I hear whoosh, all the jackets like slid off the chair. I'm like, okay, <laughs> yeah, okay. And at first I was thinking my father-in-law, but then I was like, wait a minute, I did ask my mother to show me a sign. So was that her? Maybe. I believe so. It had to be. And then a lot of things have been happening with my, with my wife, you know, because she's really having a hard time now. And uh, and she uh, had, uh, you know, asked her father for signs and stuff like this. And what's weird is, uh, 
she talked to her father every day. And what's weird is, you know, on these Apple iPhones, when you go to send a picture to somebody, you know what I'm saying? Like a picture that you already have on your phone and you go to the send button. Now, all your contacts, your recent contacts come up on that line at the bottom of the phone. You know, your husband, your wife, you know, uh, your buddy, you know, boo, 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 okay? It's mostly the people that you contacted the most. Well, he's been, my father-in-law has been popping up in the number one and number two spot. She hasn't talked to him until, you know, since he's, he's passed. He's still there in number one and number two. Now, I've tried it on my phone. If I talk to my wife, she's there. If I don't talk to my wife or I don't talk to a couple friends that I text all day long, it changes throughout the day. Hers, my father-in-law is still there. So, I'm sorry. Strange. But if you believe in that type of thing, yeah. And a couple other things that have been going on. I'm not going to go into that. I mean, oh my God, I'm almost about to 20 minutes on here. I don't even know. But, uh, Hugo, why didn't you hit me? <laughs> All right, guys, let me let you go. So, thanks for watching my, my long rant and pumpkin ale review. So until we do it, do do it again, my friends. Getting tongue tied here. <laughs> Let's set sail.